Summary of the Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving The story starts with a note saying that it was found among the things of the late Diedrich Knickerbocker. Diedrich Knickerbocker is the person who tells the story in Sleepy Hollow. Knickerbocker talks about the town of Tarry Town in upstate New York, which is a quiet, peaceful place where it seems like time has stopped. A small village called Sleepy Hollow is a few miles from town. It has a sleepy, enchanted feel to it, and everyone who lives there or stays there for a while is likely to see visions and ghosts. Most of the people in the town are of Dutch descent, and they love to get together and tell ghost stories. One of their favorites is about the Headless Horseman, an old Hessian soldier who lost his head in the American Revolutionary War and gallops off every night to find it. Ichabod Crane, a schoolteacher from Connecticut, is one of those tarrying in Sleepy Hollow for a while. Ichabod is tall and skinny, and he eats a lot. At school, he is strict and stern, but he can be smart and friendly when it suits him, like when he stays at the students' farms. He teaches people how to sing psalms at church and likes to flirt with the young women, who look up to him because he is smart. He also likes to get together with the old Dutch wives to listen to and tell ghost stories. Many of his stories come from Cotton Mather's History of New England Witchcraft, which is his favorite book. On his way home, though, Ichabod is also scared after hearing the stories, and every rustle and chirp scares him. Katrina Van Tassel is one of Ichabod's teachers. She is the daughter of a rich Dutch farmer named Baltus Van Tassel. Ichabod is attracted to Katrina at first because of how pretty and flirty she is, but he falls in love with her when he visits her at her father's farm and sees how much food he would have if he won her heart. Ichabod is sure that he can get Katrina to like him at first. But he has a lot of competitors, especially the big, smart, and playful Brom Bones, who goes around the towns with a group of friends looking for trouble, but in a good way. Ichabod knows that Brom Bones is stronger than him so he doesn't try to fight him. Both of them continue to pursue Katrina on their own for a while, and even though Brom Bones plays some jokes on Ichabod, neither of them seems to be able to get the upper hand with Katrina. Ichabod is teaching at his schoolhouse one fall afternoon when he gets an invite to a quilting party at Baltus Van Tassel's house that night. Nervous and excited, he cleans himself up and borrows the cranky old farmer Hans Van Ripper's horse, Gunpowder. At first, it seems like the party is going well. Ichabod eats all the food and dances with Katrina the whole night while Brombone sulks and fumes. Near the end, everyone starts telling ghost stories, especially about Major Andre, who was taken prisoner during the war, and the Headless Horseman. As the other guests start to leave, Ichabod stays behind to talk to Katrina. Still, Knickerbocker doesn't say exactly what happened, but Ichabod leaves the Van Tassel farm soon after looking sad. As Ichabod rides gunpowder back to his house, he starts to think about the scary stories he heard at the party. He goes up to the tree near where Major Andre was taken, and even though he is scared, he slides safely under it. But as he gets close to the stream where Major Andre was taken prisoner, in a place called Wiley's Swamp, he sees a huge, shadowy person on horses. Ichabod asks, who are you, but doesn't hear a response. He speeds up gunpowder, and the figure follows him. At one point, the two riders go up a hill, and Ichabod sees that the figure doesn't have a head. He thinks that it must be the famous headless horseman from the story. He rides faster and faster until he loses gunpowder's seat and starts to worry about how mad Hans Van Ripper will be. But he keeps riding and tries to get to the church, where the story says the horseman will disappear. But as Ichabod crosses the bridge, the horseman throws its head at him, knocking him down. The next day, Ichabod is missing, and a group of people looking for him find a smashed pumpkin and a falling wagon. A while later, an old farmer comes back from New York with the news that Ichabod had left the village out of fear and to avoid Katrina's rejection, but had become a successful lawyer and judge. The Dutch women, on the other hand, say that he was taken by the headless horseman. Knickerbocker says in the end note that he heard this story at a business meeting in New York. One old man asked the speaker what the story was about after it was over. The storyteller gave a confused, nonsensical rational argument in response, 
and the man said he still didn't believe the story was true. The storyteller said at that point that he didn't believe half of it himself. About the author. Washington Irving was born and raised in Manhattan to a merchant family. He worked as a novelist, biographer, historian, columnist, and U.S. envoy in the first half of the 1800s. Irving is best known for his short stories The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle. Irving was born in New York and was named after General George Washington. At the time of Irving's birth in 1783, Washington had not yet been chosen president because the Constitution had not been written or passed. Before he got interested in writing about history and short stories, Irving studied law. His writing made him famous and important, and he was one of the first American writers whose work was known around the world. He lived in Europe for 17 years, mostly in Britain and Spain, and was well-liked there. He went back to Tarrytown, New York, later in life and lived on a farm he called Sunnyside. Before coming back to this house, he was the U.S. ambassador to Spain for four years. He kept writing and staying in touch with people until he died in 1859. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.